Hi, I'm Mark Savage. You may remember such videos as Why sell a BMW? Why buy a BMW? My moped won't start. Honda VFR 1200. But why am I here today? HD digital recorder on your motorbike, moped. It doesn't matter whether you have a hundred pound moped or a 20,000 pound motorbike. A hard drive, dash cam, crash cam, whatever you want to call them, these are brilliant. Under a hundred pounds, you need to have an SD card as well though. Doesn't matter what make. These are a brilliant bit of kit. I recently visited Dove Man. Steve! Hello mate. Recently visited him, he showed me, he had a very nice one of these, a couple hundred pound jobby. Um, I always try and get a deal, so I found a local company for under hundred pounds that sell this. Same design as his, comes with a little screen, touch screen, two waterproof cameras, a GPS, and an emergency button. Let's see what we get in this kit. So I'm very good, come for hand safe instructions. Wait. Some very good comprehensive instructions. To be honest with you, they may complicate things, and if you're already watching this video, you're contemplating whether to have one, which is great, or you just like my impressions. Okay. <laughs> I'll stop, sorry. You gotta understand, I have to direct, produce, work out, write, all in my head, and it's in here. It may not come out all at the same time. Anyway. I digress again. What do you get? A very nice looking camera. Now, if you watched my Triumph Trophy video prior to the shortening video, prior to all my other videos, keep watching, um, I've already got a placement for this. It's in the pocket on the left-hand side. But if you've got a moped, you know, this isn't safety. This won't increase your insurance premiums. Won't make your motorbike go faster. Um, this is just purely for when, if, that idiot pulls out in front of you or comes racing up behind you because remember this has got two cameras front and back this may just save you a horrible insurance job um going to court and everything else where the bloke says mate he was going too fast he was doing this and you can say look at this idiot overtook me and took me straight out that's what hopefully this is for we've all had it on motorbikes we've all had it i know anyway four outputs or inputs Little guarantee instructions. First I've looked in here, you know. This must be your little emergency button, I'm guessing. <clears throat> to take pictures if you need to take pictures. I'll read up. This is your GPS mount. Now, I am wondering about this because this would record your whereabouts and all this lot good. Also, maybe what speed you are doing. That could go against you. A mount. Oh. I could have that plumbed in that way in my little box. I am gonna have to hardwire it in. Battery's this side, so you need, all you need is battery, a drill for a few holes, I'm assuming, and then the rest is 3M. So this should be quite easy for a smaller bike. For me having my big bike and panels everywhere, it's probably gonna be a few panels off. But anyway, hey, lots of cable ties, and that must be the USB point. I have a USB charging point actually in the box. So I'm wondering, I might even have to go to the battery, I could just plug it in the USB port. There's a thought. And these must be the cameras. Right, there we go. There's two of these, one and two. Look like I've got 3M tape plus screws. So I'm gonna screw mine in, one at the front and one at the back. Probably under the back box, and probably I've got a sensor, so just to the right hand side of my headlights, so it doesn't get bleed from the headlights. And the power module, the output. So there we go, in the box, power, GPS. Two cameras, emergency push button, I think. What I'll do now, is I'll do some reading, then I'll do some planning on the bike. I was right about the USB. You can plug it straight in. And what could be better, with these two working, two of me. <laughs> Obviously, I've got to work out what the buttons do now, but there you go, both cameras are working. Truth be known, we all are funny creatures. We all learn differently. I tend to plan, work out where it's supposed to go, and then pull it in, and then work out why it's not working. But as you've seen, I've tested it. It does suggest you test the 
host, as it calls it, and see if it works first. So you clearly see it working, so I'm happy to install now. I'll test it, see if it works basically, review it, and I'll know. Must read these though. But as I said, we all learn differently. Where's it gonna go? You may not get this, but I've got this very nice box with two power points. It will fit in there. I'll just make it look a bit better. Maybe a bit of foam underneath it and sit it on that. I'm gonna drill for the side here, so all my cables will come out here. But as for camera placement on this big girl, there is my air detection. So I'm gonna go just this side of it there like that. Now from the rear, I want too much light bleed from here, because remember there's registration plate here. I don't want to put it on the back box because I may take this off, although it'll be in a really good place, but it does bounce. So I'm going to go here. I'll bend this and have it like that. What I actually enjoy doing is hiding these, knowing that these will connect quite well. Small hole, tuck it up, take everything I need to get off. Don't have these dangling around. On a moped, must be really easy. You know, and I said, it doesn't matter the price of your moped. It just matters that you can prove that you're not in the wrong. And if you are, what camera? <laughs> right, let's get on this. I'll show you halfway while I'm trying to work things out. Let's get on with it. I've dropped the panel, keep in mind of the air sensor. I had to drop the light and put a 501 in. A lot brighter, isn't it? There you go. Right, we'll pop that back in. I'm gonna drill two small holes here and then connect that like that. Bigger hole through there, and then run the cabling up there, nice and neat. Just quickly, I've used a little blob of glue, some duct tape on the connector as well. Change the bulb, I've pushed the wiring up here. And then that's what you get. Pretty cool, huh? Put the back one on very neatly. There we go, just there. On the wire, nicely tucked up again. And it's in there, now we've just got to trace the wire along here, under here and get up to here. Okay, tracing wires can be a bit of a bitch, but worth it. Back wire now comes all the way along, under here, and back out here. So we have our main wires, all ready to go back in. is not so much showing you how to put it on this bike specifically today, it's more so showing you that this camera works and how it looks. Let's get on with it. It is nicely portioned in there, and this closes see buttons here nicely wired in I thought that if I was riding I could still get my thumb there okay I didn't install the GPS personal view insurance companies seem to forgot what they're really there for they tell you they're there for you but you seem to pay them money and they tell you everything you can't do and as soon as they can get out of paying you they do I read about a guy the other week who got his bike out of his locked garage pulled it in front of his drive, went to ride off, realised he hadn't got his door key. He went back in to get his door key, came back out, some little stroke stole the bike. Didn't pay him. They said it wasn't in a locked garage. Seconds. He had CCT of it, didn't care. Left his bike unattended. So you start thinking, well, and I say I've heard of cases now where they use a crash cam against you rather than for you. Anyway, enough chat. Let's turn it on and see what it does. We have... <laughs> Recording. How good is that? Let's get it out and see what it looks like. There's the camera views. It goes off after a minute but continues recording. And there's the front. Uh, never gonna see that. Back. Maybe a little bit of adjustment. But they work. Is in the pudding as they say. And we turn the key off. It shuts off after 30 seconds, so you get another 30 seconds recording as well. How cool is that? Shut that there, and we know that locks. So, there we have it. Fitted, working, happy. One update. The recent lowering kit, getting on centre stand. Oh my God. I managed to get it off out there. I tried to get it on earlier. Not a chance for carpet. So, but still, flat footed. Digress. Happy days, I'm gonna go out for a ride. I've already reviewed it inside, and it plays quite well, if I'm honest with you. It's even got sound, but not brilliant. I'll update it in another video, I'm not gonna do it now. I'm happy it works. Um, you don't get a bad display. 
So for under £100, I am crash cam ready, as they say. To end another great video, please subscribe and stay with me, guys. Really means a lot. Liking and sharing secondary, but subscribing and keeping with me, watching my videos, makes me happy. You take care of yourselves on the road, and for me, I will be now. And if I do have a spill or splatted, I'm not dead, I'll show you the footage. Take care of yourselves.